Hi, preschoolers. This is teacher Jane from McKinney, and I'm going to show you how to submit an answer to an assignment on Schoology by using Flipgrid. Here's an assignment for this week going on a scavenger hunt. I've already looked at what I need to find for the scavenger hunt, so now I'm going to go ahead and submit my response. Down here at the bottom of the assignment, there's a yellow square and the words Gratitude Scavenger Hunt Flipgrid. Once I click that, it's going to take me to a place where I can make a recording that can be seen by my teacher and by my classmates. You'll notice when I clicked it, it opened right in Schoology. Now this is because I've already logged in using my OSD email and password. So when you click on it, it will ask you, do you wanna log in via Google? And you're gonna say yes, use your students OSD email and your student's password, the number password that I gave you at the beginning of the year to log into Flipgrid. You'll only need to do this once and after that it'll open just like mine did. Next thing I'm going to do is hit that red button to record my response. You'll see it opened right up and it's telling me step one of four is to record. I already have my items that I want to share with you, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that red button and make my recording. Hi, this is Teacher Jane at McKinney, and I went on a gratitude scavenger hunt. I went outside and I looked for something that would make that I could give to someone else that would make them smile. And while I was finding that, I realized I was also finding another item, finding something in nature, and finding something I love to smell. Something, one thing, that met all three of those categories. And it was raspberries from my garden. I found one, two, three raspberries. When I give these raspberries to my daughter, she for sure is gonna smile because she loves to eat raspberries. I found these raspberries, raspberries in nature and I'm very thankful that I have such a wonderful garden, natural space outside where I can pick things that I can eat. And gosh, do I love the way that raspberries smell. I found three items on my gratitude, on my gratitude scavenger hunt by finding three raspberries. Now I click stop. Once you click stop, there it is. Once you, <laughs> once you click stop, it's going to want you to hit next. And that, hi, oh, this is teacher Jane at McKinney. And I went on a gratitude scavenger hunt. And that's my, I review. went outside and I looked for something that would make that I could give to someone else that would make them smile. As and while I, I was finding okay, that, I'm I realized I was also finding another item, finding some. Once I hit next, it'll allow me to hit it to make a selfie. If I hadn't liked the way I liked that what I had in my video, I could have hit this edit video button and gone back and made another video or changed how that video turned out. But you know what? I think any video is good. Any way that your child can share what they know or what they find or what they're happy about with me is great. And please don't worry about editing. I'm sure not going to. This step three out of four is almost the last step and it requires me to take a selfie. I can click this option and I could select a frame from of my child within that video, but the easiest thing to do is just smile and take a picture. Then I hit next and it uploads my video. The very last thing I need to do is to submit my video and I just want to put my name and whatever I want to say to my teacher. I'm going to say, I found three raspberries on my gratitude scavenger hunt. Once that's all done, then I can submit my video. There's the submit button. <gasps> Success, and I did it. That's completed, and you'll notice when I scroll down, 
here are all the videos that I've made and the teacher Amy and teacher Beth have made for the gratitude scavenger hunt. So I can watch the videos that other people have made, or I can record another response. Thanks very much for paying attention and focusing your attention while I taught you how to use our Flipgrid. All right, can't wait to see what you find.